Right, so we got our rock pulverizer here, uh, built from a 20 pound propane tank. Uh, there's a three quarter horsepower motor mounted on top for now. Uh, it's mounted on an old uh, washer, pressure washer cart. I sliced the 20 pound propane bottle down. You can see it's a little bit shorter. There's flange bearing on the front and back with a 5 8 shaft running through that I uh, cut a slot in and welded some 3 8 steel plate on either side of it and there's chain flail in there. On the front of it here, going into the pail, you can see there's a square uh, steel outlet pipe. Uh, that's where the rock dust comes out. And towards the back here, we have our inlet tube that you drop the rocks in. So I'm just going to fire it up here. It runs off a 110. Probably going to mount a bigger motor on it. Oh. There we go, that's it firing up. And we'll throw some rocks in here. You can see the dust coming off it. So it is a little bit noisy. Pretty cool. You turn in old stucco. As you can see, we got in the background right there, that's the tube that drops in. The chain spins clockwise. Brings the stones, stucco, whatever you want to pulverize into dust, sand, in. Spins it around and then towards the front here at the bottom, I have the front plate drilled with holes. Here, I'll just show this to you. Right there. And it goes to that bottom pipe square tube that uh, empties into our pail. As you can see here, I've seen some of these other videos on YouTube. Uh, they don't really show this too well. So these, this is, uh, as you can see, I got the two different pieces of 3-8 steel welded onto the 5-8 shaft. It's welded on both sides, drilled through. Just the uh, carriage bolts through there, nothing fancy, stuff I had on hand. And then I would cut some uh, 3 8 steel here, and these act as paddles, and it also um, gets a little bit closer, so you get smaller chunks getting busted up a little bit better. Uh, I think this one has a little more wear on it than the other one because it's a little bit closer, so it does more of the work. But it's cheap, it's 3 8 steel. Um, so it's easy enough just to take these chains off. Three links of chain. Weld on some more 3.8 steel and I'm ready to roll again. Takes no time at all. Um, that's about it for my video.